There's a good way to start off the day. Just $118 in off-road fuel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you, this is your first time joining us. Um, we do tractors and trucks and all kinds of stuff. Everything in between. Uh, we, we fix our own equipment. We help buddies out working on their stuff. We get old tractors running again. There's no telling what you're going to see us working on. Um, quick update on what we got going on today. Today we're going to be in my happy place and I'm going to be back plowing again. Um, this big job I've been working on, everything's raked, everything is burned except for two or three piles on the south end which I'll get to whenever I get down here plowing where I keep an eye on them. So we're just going to be plowing today, one of my favorite things. Um, I had it scheduled, this is Tuesday right before Thanksgiving that this is being shot. I had it lined up for this weekend. Um, I'm going to bring the channel along as I put a six speed uh, Eaton Fuller. It's a 8406A. So it's a six speed fully synchronized um, overdrive medium duty truck transmission. And I'll be putting that in my Dodge. Um, I get to cheat a little bit. This transmission was part of a conversion that was done in another truck. The other truck was wrecked or something. I don't know, it was getting parted out. I got a good deal on this whole setup. I mean, it's it's everything. It's the starter, the clutch housing, the uh, flywheel housing. It's, it's everything. Right down to they even had a hydraulic slave cylinder set up that works with the factory slave cylinder. So yeah, I got to cheat a whole lot, but we're gonna go through all that whenever I'm putting it in there. The, uh, the other project, I'm just looking at tracks in here, seeing who's been in here. Um, anyway, what I will be getting to do this weekend instead of that, um, I gotta help my buddy out that's got the tree service. If you watch the ramp repair video where he had uh, some welds, a former repair made on his ramps and they broke as he was unloading his skid steer out of his dump trailer, it's the same dump trailer. This time, um, <clears throat> he was pulling the dump trailer and basically the, the uh, cross member in the trailer that the two hydraulic lift cylinders attached to had bent over time and cracked. It's, it's square tube and it had cracked and it gave up about a 30 mile drive when they were about 15 miles from where they were going and I'm guessing it was probably being pulled with the bucket truck it's pretty loud and noisy didn't get noticed and they drug to the bottom off of a hydraulic cylinder so unless I can find a base for a tie rod cylinder that specific one we put a new cylinder in it as well as repairing big chunk that's missing out of the brace so I'll bring you guys along on that welding repair it's going to be um, pretty extensive what we got to do to that to, to make it where it's going to last him so I'm going to pull up get a little 450 fired up warmed up it's a little cool here for us in Florida I know there are a bunch of pansies down here and we're not you know it gets to be 40 degrees around here and you got plants inside and dogs with the teeth chattering by space heaters and people's garages and stuff so we're wimps when it comes to cold weather but I don't really care because our summer times it's about 173 degrees with a heat index of 205 so if we can handle that don't pick on us for not liking the cold whole lot so anyway we'll get the tractor going and catch up with you in a minute Oh, 
basically rebedding over the, the old stuff. Around here, I'm coming up to uh, the remnants of a, a pile that was burnt. Not everything burned. A uh, lot of dirt in it just from the stumps that got rolled up. And they, the dirt was still wet in the in the roofs. So, left behind some dirt. <clears throat> some stuff didn't burn, like I said. Use hang with your blade, flip what you can out of the way, keep an eye on your plow, keep it from getting clogged up. freeze frame it yeah 222 degrees is what it's telling me i'm running right now so we gotta make a run up to the truck and blow the radiator out again and get back after it
just from this shot right here I've got my earbuds in for my phone and uh, just mainly wear them I don't I always listen to something on them uh, a lot of times I just have them in to kind of cut down on the, on the noise you kind of double the earplug in two I can hear my phone um, this particular afternoon right here when this was being shot my teenage daughter was on the road so I like to be able to answer the phone whenever she calls here when she rings, when it rings so that's that's the main reason I got those in just notifications and cut down on a little bit of noise but when I'm out here plowing like this and it's not as uh, not as focused I would say you know having to be as focused as when you when you break in or if I was in a real wet area I definitely wouldn't be listening to anything because I'd be focused in you know on, on keeping my dozer from getting stuck and, but out here I was I've really been looking forward to raking this or to getting to plow this um, as I was raking through it just because we rarely get the opportunity to, to plow somewhere that is this this dry um, and two, after being able to go through and rake it and, and get a good idea of what's already out there, you kind of recognize areas when you get to them. You know when you're getting to an area that's going to have some taller stumps in it, and that just makes it a lot easier and truthfully a lot more enjoyable. So I know everybody's got their own thing they like to do. I really enjoy this right here. It's kind of therapeutic. You can uh, once I GPS at the end of the day and, and see how much I cover. You know, it's it's uh, it's a goal. You know, you're shooting to try and get the most acres you can in a day. It just kind of drives you, keeps you pushing on. Um, I, a lot of times I'll throw my lunch on the dozer with me and send me check right there. I make sure what my daughter that didn't message me, but. Uh, you know, I'll throw my lunch on the tractor and I eat while plowing if I'm in a good spot, you know. But it's just what my week has consisted of leading up to Thanksgiving here. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, got a pretty good welding repair I'm going to shoot this weekend. Probably, unless something else happens, I'll probably throw it up for, uh, for next week's video. And we got another message over here. Anyway. That's pretty much going to wrap this one up right here, guys. We really appreciate you watching. Um, if you're new here and you enjoy the outdoors type stuff, repair, that sort of thing, make sure you uh, click the subscribe button, hit the little bell down there, and that way you get notifications whenever we post something new. Um, really, we'd appreciate a like. You click the little thumbs up down there because, as I have learned with YouTube, the more likes the video gets, the, the better it's picked up by YouTube's algorithm. And uh, no, we're not monetized, anything like that. We're just trying to see if uh, what we're doing, what kind of content we're putting out, if, if folks are liking it. So, as always, thank you for taking your time to watch our stuff, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. See ya.